What's going on YouTube? Jeff Kogi here and uh, I haven't made one of these videos in such a long time now and the reason being if you haven't watched kind of the 2017 year end video it's because I've been out of the office for the last two months you know I take the last two months of the year off and luckily enough uh, because of the type of business I run and because of the investments I've made uh, in the past it allows me to be able to take that type of uh, uh, time off so as I'm back in the office recording this on January 2nd I want to do kind of an update on uh, what I promised y'all last year which is to kind of document the journey of growing I guess this YouTube channel for those people that want to uh uh, grow their personal brand for whatever reason it might be for commerce for business or for the sake that you you're uh, have a big ego and you want people just to simply follow you and watch you and you have such an amazing things to say so uh, let's do the quick update all right so um, first off in the link somewhere there should be a spreadsheet of uh, this so if you want to take a look on this you can take a look now disclaimer here if you're the first time if you're watching this uh, just know that this is not my first YouTube channel and I am not using uh, kind of the other tactics that other people use Use to grow it I'm using it organically other than the fact that I am spending money on ads but the only money that I'm spending on ads you can see right here on column uh, L is uh, simply advertisement to retarget people that have uh, you know went on my channel for whatever reason okay so you can take a look here. Growth-wise, you can see it has up, uh, c come down significantly in terms of subscriber. Total subscriber now is 116, which I absolutely love because, hey, we've surpassed the first 100 mark, right? So it's, again, real 100 people uh, that have watched this video uh, or has watched part of it and hit the subscribe button. So if, if you're one of those people, one of the 616, thank you so much for that. And again, I have not used my other social media platform that has a lot more higher subscribers uh, because I want to show you how to organically grow it, right? Now, I know some of my friends are on the other platform have found me and subscribed. So if you did that, hey, you know who you are. Thank you so much. But really, I want to engage with people who have never heard heard me on about what I talk about and try to really give genuine value and uh, unbiased professional biased opinion uh, of certain things uh, coming from a investor uh, guy in the real estate space and uh, being a millennial and give you some insight on my take so again let's take a look uh, video wise I will say this I did make some videos okay so take a look here okay I made some videos um uh, I made some videos, but unfortunately, for whatever reason, when I did the live stream, it did not produce it, like upload it, right? Like, take a look here, right? There's one guy who responded about a condo that he was thinking about buying. And look, it's here, but it just says processing. This was December 2nd, almost a month ago that I talked about this in this video. I think it was, I genuinely, I kid you not, I think it was about 30 to 45 minutes talking about why should I buy a condo for $325,000 and put $250,000 as a down payment, right? That's what someone asked, and I actually gave that insight. I also, I did another video that was flipping isn't the only way to invest in, it, in real estate. And I gave the three other ways that you can invest in real estate as well. And you can see they're saying they're all processing, right? And um, fortunately, uh, it, it, it didn't produce. So I'm going to do more content videos on these topics probably throughout this year um, because I am committed to making sure that I can continuously deliver value to the subscribers who hit the subscribe button and people who organically find me here and show you how we're actually physically growing this channel. So I apologize, but I will do more of that. And uh, But let me show you some cool little analytics if you're into this kind of stuff. If you're watching this stuff, clearly you have some interest in learning about YouTube and learning about how the traffic game works. So um, let's take a look at some analytics here okay in the last 90 days or so or October 4th okay should be October 1st um one thing that I looked at that was interesting was the traffic source, right? I removed all the advertisement, right? Why? Because look, if you look at this, right? I spend this money. Um, I've gone up to about a hundred bucks now that I spend on advertisement on retargeting, and this is how I get genuinely, like, literally ninety-five percent of the view. But there's about five percent of the view that comes organically, and it comes from people finding me when I'm talking about certain topics like this. And it's it's not a surprise because it's a hot topic currently right now, which is the housing market, right? And I'm in uh, Southern California, and I talk about housing a lot because my background is real estate so if you google my name or even checked out my other real estate uh, thing you know that I've been around since 2004 buying selling and uh, you know investing in real estate for over a decade now and you can see here right like look they're looking for videos on housing market, housing market 2017 uh, you know there's some you know stock stuff because I'm talking talking about stocks more than than ever now because I didn't realize how many people were actually interested in that kind of stuff I thought I was just like 
people weren't, but I guess people were. So I was doing that and I'll probably do a lot more of that um, because the where we're currently at in the marketplace, you know, real estate being an all time high, stock market being an all time high, and then as well as Bitcoin and stuff, cryptocurrency stuff right now. Disclaimer here, I'm not part of it. I don't invest in that stuff. Um, and I've talked about in other videos on reason why I don't. But point of the matter is, is I want to show you the traffic source. And you can see here, geography wise, where is the traffic coming from? And you can see here, majority of the United States. We got some couple people in India. I'm not exactly sure who in India, uh, Philippines, Australia, Singapore. So we got people from all over the world. Seems like they're searching it, which is super cool. And then, um, Another one that I want to show you is kind of the revenue side, right? Because people get all gun ho and says, okay, do you actually make money on YouTube, right? And you can see here, right? Look, year to date YouTube money, right? You can see here it's $7.85. Is that really a whole of a lot of money? No, it's not. It's not going to even buy me a large latte at Starbucks, right? But I want to show you that on what's possible because on my on one of my other accounts, right? Um, long time ago, a couple of years ago, many years ago, right? I would do anywhere from $500 to $1,000 a month on that particular account until I started doing what we like to call black hat strategies, right? And I did that. And uh, YouTube banned me from uh, posting videos. You know, and that's what happens when you go against the terms and services, right? And so they banned me, and um, unfortunately, I barely were able to get back on, right? And be able to monetize my quote unquote videos now. So as I'm doing this, I'm doing it properly now, right? Versus uh, trying to hack the system as I tried to do before. So you can see here, that's what we got going on. And you can see we did a significant jump from almost doubled from this month of September uh, to uh, October, right? Which is super cool. And it all has to do probably predominantly as I looked at the numbers is it has to do with the real estate videos, right? Why? Because advertisers in the space of realtors pay uh, I'm sorry, real estate pays a lot of money for uh, running ads in front of you. So here is the dilemma right now as I'm going back to this, right? Do I do this and create content for individuals like here that's been watching my videos, right? Okay, watching my videos, right? Traffic source, if I go here, you can see here housing and do I just keep on doing this because this is what you guys and gals are organically searching or do I actively reach out to the community, the 116 people that subscribe to this and deliver genuine value to them, right? And that's always a conversation of all entrepreneurs and business owners run into, right? Like, what do you do, right? Now, thank God that because my business that I run, this is not my only income source, right? Because if it is, and if it's only $7.85, that kind of sucks, right? Um, but luckily enough, I have other businesses that kind of complement each other, so which is super cool, but also at the same time, what I'm going to do, okay, and the route I am going to take is to make sure that I can deliver value to these 116 people that's on here, and hopefully we get a lot more on that. Why? Because, you know, I like it when it's a much smaller community because I think it can be a lot more intimate versus some of my other YouTube channels I had like thousands and thousands of people and then they would message me and I would and I would get overwhelmed and I couldn't and then uh, later on some of the people became we became good friends and stuff like that so uh, my attempt here is to focus on them and uh, you know talk about my journey as an entrepreneur business owner and now um, as I have a daughter on the way um, coming in April I'm going to talk about how my life has kind of shifted in the way I look at uh, life business and how I'm creating content and kind of more of the legacy that I want to leave behind uh for the people that uh, are my friends out there in the internet land. So I want to create this video to let you know that, hey, I'm still here and to let you know that, hey, you know what, I'm still committed and also to let you know that, hey, you know what, I will be creating more content and I'm going to do more of live stream to answer questions because it's a lot easier on me. Um, last year, I did uh, try to bring on a uh, editor and a photo, um, someone to uh, record the videos and stuff like that. And that strategy became a little bit overwhelming for me. Um, I'm kind of a laissez-faire type of manager, right? So I like to do a lot of stuff uh, uh, passively and things like that. So so that's what I ran into. So instead of trying to make my life more difficult than it is, because life is at the end of the day pretty darn difficult, right? We don't need to make it more, is I'm just simply trying to re, uh, refine it. And that's what I'm going to do, where I'm just going to do live streams and answer your guys and gals' questions in the comment box to help your business grow or to hopefully be 
able to make some uh, uh, right investment uh, uh, in your career and be able to uh, grow your wealth as well. And hopefully at the end of, you know, five years, 10 years, 20 years, you can look back and we become friends outside of internet land and um, um, we can do some business outside of that. So that's what I got for you guys and gals. This is uh, Jeff Koga again, making this video on January 2nd. And I appreciate you. And um, I do need to go back to reading. Look at this, right? This is what I'm reading currently right now. Legislation, 400 plus pages of legislation on an investment opportunity that I'm looking at right now. So again, it's a lot of paperwork that I got to read, but this is where the money is made when you actually put in the time, put in the work to physically read this stuff. And luckily enough, I took on a speed reading class uh, many, many years ago that allows me to read much faster than most individuals. So uh, this is Jeff Koga. Love you guys. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button and I will talk to you guys and gals throughout this year. Bye-bye, and Happy New Year's. Love y'all. Take care. Bye-bye.